friends, Pokemon Collector here with another opening episode of Got to Collect Them All. As you've seen in the two previous episodes, they were rather long. I had a couple tins to open in each episode. But in today's episode, it's going to be a little bit shorter today. Right now, I don't have any tins to open. I actually uh, just picked these up today. I have six Flash Fire Booster Packs. But, uh, the thing that's special about these is I know these packs won't weigh. The guy that I get them off of, he, uh, I've been buying them off, buying off from him for years, all kinds of different trading cards. But he keeps them actually in a display case until you pay for them, and then he gives them to you. So that way you know that nothing you purchase off of him has been weighed yet, so. And he's actually got really decent prices. Like, I priced these out at the local Walmart, and I believe they were like... Like four twenty-five a pack, but he actually has them for three twenty-five a pack. And sometimes, if I buy in bulk, he actually gives me pretty good deals on them. So he's a really good guy. But uh, yes, as you saw, the first two episodes, I opened the Kyogre tin along with a few random booster packs, and the Grudon tin with a few booster packs. But um, I am currently in the process of working on getting a few more tins I'm probably going to have to purchase them from eBay because the guy that I bought these off of all he had were the Kyogre and Grudon tins so I'm going to have to special order some tins I don't have a lot of money to spend on them right now so it's not going to be anything too special eventually I would like to get a first edition fossil booster box which who knows how much that can run that could run 400 plus dollars but let's get into today's episode. We are going to open all six of these Flash Fire Packs. Could we possibly get a Charizard Gold Star? Maybe. I'm not going to get my hopes up, but if I do get one, I might scream like a little British girl. Let's get right into it. Pack number one. Set that aside, do the usual. This hollow and possible epic rare in the back. First off, we have Binnacle. And we have Buzil. Spritzy. Pretty sure we already had a Spritzy in a previous episode. C Dot. Squelp. Ah, oh, that's a cool looking card. Rapidash. Classic Pokemon, of course. Fiery Torch Trainer card. Sligo or Sligo. Sligo, maybe. Our reverse holo for this pack is a Nuzleaf. That's a cool card. And the rare for the pack is a Barbrackle. Nice looking piece of artwork there. Pretty cool looking. That is non holographic. Pack number two. Kangaskhan on the front. Cool looking card. Off at the same car, it looks like. And let's start off with C dot Flabba Bay Shinx Stonky Lit Leo Sneasel. Pokemon Center Lady Trainer card. Roserade. Our reverse holo for this pack is Heliolisk. That's a cool card. That's a rare card. Not bad. And the rare for the pack is Pyroar. Look at that holographic card. That is a beautiful card there. Not too bad for our second pack. Let's move on. Don't want to make this too long of an episode. I know my first two were pretty long, so I'm trying to do a shorter one this time. Come on. One, two, three. And we start off with Gumi. And there's another Flabberby. Sendial, Bergmite, Poinko, Luxio, 
Maractus, another Nuzleaf, a reverse hollow is Stunky, and the rare for the pack is a Skuntank. Haha, <laughs> look at that. His, his older brother. That's pretty cool. That is a non holographic, but still not bad. Pack number four. We have two left after this pack. And these packs are going to start giving us some trouble to open, I see. Oh, there's a classic on top card I can see there. We see start off with Geodude, Phoebus, Centrate, Duskull, Rosalia, Metapod, Torkoal, Magnetic Storm Trainer card, and our reverse holo for the pack is Celio. That's not bad. And the rare for the pack is a ferret. Cool looking card, but also non holographic. Down to two packs. The last pack actually has a Charizard on the front. I'm going to save it for last in hopes that that can bring us some luck. And we start off with Gumi. Another Flabberby. Another Sandile. Another Bergmite. Getting all kinds of... Look at that, another Boinko. I feel like I've already opened this pack before. Celio. Lysander Trainer Cord, Dusclops, our reverse holo is a Duskull, and our rare for the pack is a Quillfish, non-holographic. And here we are ladies and gentlemen down to our last pack, it's got the Charizard on the front, keep your fingers crossed. We start off with a Spiel, Bunnery, Classic Caterpie, Helioptile, Ponyta, Pidgeotto, Graveler, lot of classic Pokemon in this, this pack, Miltank, a reverse hollow is oh, Geodude. Nice. And our rare for this pack is a Shift Tree Holographic. Not bad, not bad. That's two holographics I believe we got in this pack. What was the first one again? I cannot remember. Let me look back here if I can find it real quick. If I can't, I'm sorry. There he is. Two holographics for this episode was a shift tree and a pyroar. Not too bad, not too bad at all. Still did not get our dark or our gold star Charizard, but maybe here in the near future we will get that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. If you did enjoy this episode, don't forget to like, comment, and pound that subscribe button. I would also like to talk about these cards here. I'm going to actually start a series where I open online booster packs and decks for you guys. Just like I do in these episodes, but it's not going to be the real cards. It will be the online cards. I think that would be pretty cool to do. I'm not sure how many cards you get in a booster pack online, but I still think it will be fun to do. But, uh... I'm also going to give you an updated uh, checklist at the end of this episode showing you how many of the 700 and I believe 20 Pokemon there are, how many of them I have collected so far. So uh, stay tuned for that guys and until next time, thanks for watching.